This is how to make a wreath out of real pine branches. So I love the way that real pine looks on wreaths and it's free if you've got a pine tree. What you'll do is you'll take pine branches and you'll trim them and make little pieces. I find that the ends or the tips of the pine branches make a better look on the wreath because they're more delicate and rounded at the tops. So to begin, you'll form a bundle and you'll wrap that with wire. I use 22 gauge floral wire. And then you'll secure that onto a round wire wreath form. I found mine at Dollar Tree. And you'll want to wrap around two times and pull tight to secure it. Do not cut the wire until you're complete um, with the entire wreath. This makes it more secure and t yeah. it's a lot less work by just leaving it on and not cutting it. So you'll continue adding short pine branches to the wreath and wrapping the wire around. When you've made your way around to the first bunch you've secured on the wreath, you can tuck the pine branches underneath the start bunch and wrap it with wire. Then use a hot glue gun to glue a few pine branches down to conceal the final wire. And I found using gloves to be very helpful because you'll get sap on your hands otherwise. So it's great to use some good gloves when you're doing this. Once you've made your way all the way around and secured it, you can tip, uh, turn it over and form a wire loop to hang it. You don't need this if you just want to hang it off of a door hanger, but if you want a holder you can do that and the video sh explains how to do that. Once you've made the loop then you'll cut the wire. Next you want to shake the wreath and secure any loose pine branches. You can glue them down with hot glue or you can tuck them into the wires. Then you'll want to place pine cones on the wreath and hot glue those into place. I found getting a few larger ones and creating a focal point at the bottom of the wreath helps with interest. So I got three larger ones and offset them at the bottom. And then I placed small pine cones randomly throughout the wreath. Then you'll want to string a battery powered light string on the wreath and secure the battery pack in the back with a wire. I just use the pine branches to hold the light string in place and then with the battery pack. My husband helped me while I held the wreath. He secured it to the wreath form in the back. At this point, you can hairspray the wreath, and that'll help the needle stay and not fall as it dries. Um, I waited until I put the ornaments on because I liked the texture that the hairspray added to the glass ornaments. So um, I glued small red ornaments onto the wreath. You'll see that there's Santa faces on one side, but I didn't want those showing, and so I just glued the Santa faces down. I wanted it to match the front door decor that I had out front with just uh, a plain red ornament. So once you've got the ornaments and lights and pine cones and hairspray on, then you can just hang the wreath on the door and enjoy it all season long. To get the supply list, check out livelikeyouarerich.com and at the search bar at the top, search pine wreath. Thanks.